He's got a smiley face above him. That means he's in a good mood. Nice. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once. We're back in Rabinaster. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. Okay. <laughs> You're bash. We'll enter through the fortress. <laughs> through this gate, we must go. Why did his voice change in the last two seconds? Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll go enter through the, the gate? fortress through this gate, we must go. Go through the gate? We'll Just, enter the... No. Uh, <laughs> See the marker above your head? It's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, a switch, an item, or the like. To learn a bit what we what you found, walk closer and the icon will change, and then press X. Now try opening the gate by pressing X. You pressed X. I you did, did it. it. Hello, welcome back to Great Scott Gamers. My name's Dave. My name's Mark. And today we're playing Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. Never played this one through, Davey. Mark has never played this version of... or In fact, you've not played Final Fantasy XII at all. Uh, I played probably exactly two minutes of Final Fantasy XII. There we go, so, so let's So pretty much no all language. Let's stick on subtitles. Or re-orchestrated or original. Uh, it's up to you. Or what? OST? I guess that's the Japanese version. Uh, I guess we just keep it on reorchestrated since that's the new version. Unless yeah, stick, you've got a, stick on subtitles. We're, we're putting vibrating on. Screen Let's shake. Screen shake on. Cool. Subtitles we'll put on because we normally do that. Yeah, I've said it twice already. Uh, speed mode multiplier? Who cares? What the fuck is speed mode? No idea. As for people that don't fun. like battles. Begins again, Marky Begin. We'll get the epic. Oh, nice, you went back. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, did you do options? Yeah, that oh, was right. options first. Just After make sure that it was in the new defaulted game. Defaulted to Japanese or something. Okay, no, it's it's also there though. Yeah, it is also that there. Is, that's what I thought. So it, <laughs> it did say begin the game at the top. Oh, it seems like both options give you the option to I begin guess. the game. I guess so. Here we go. We're so, back yeah. in the world of Final Fantasy. We've done any worlds of Final Fantasy. We've done nine. We've done ten, and now we're doing twelve. Why did we not do eleven? Because eleven's online. That's true. Oh, it's the year seven hundred and four. In the kingdom of Damasca. Dalmasca. Yeah, so the this is Rabanaster. Rabanaster. So this is the same universe as Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't and remember. Also technically, yeah, and also the... technically, the part of it takes place in fourteen as well. I think. Yeah, I were talking about that earlier on. So this is um. This was the last PS2 uh, era Final Fantasy game. We only got two, didn't we, for PS? Wait, except for 11. We got we three, 10, technically. 10, 10, 2, 12. Yeah. 11 was on the PS2, but it didn't come out here, I don't think. Uh, and, uh... I came out in France, I think, yeah. and a couple other regions. Yeah. It came out in PC here, that was about... Yep. And then uh, you had you did have, like, spin-off games like Dirge of Cerberus, which was set mm. in the Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, of course, I forgot about them. Which yeah. was basically uh, Devil May Cry Final Fantasy. Which I actually quite enjoyed that game. But Oh, they're getting married. Straight off the nice. bat. Oh, usually this happens at the end of games. Yeah. They're doing this in reverse, Steve? It looks like it. Well, I mean, in 10 they do it at some point. They look very much like the models from Final Fantasy XI, don't they? They do. I'm guessing that's where they got some of the... Inspiration. Like, inspiration. So like, that's something about this. So the combat from this game... Mm. Felt very similar to the combat in Final Fantasy XI, where oh, they, like rather than the original turn-based um, combat that we were used to from the original games, it's real time. Rather, well, it's real time in the sense that the battle ex exists in real time, but characters will still have like a delay to their attack. So they attack once, and then after however many seconds, they'll attack again. Yeah, and it's just automatic. You don't have to issue commands. It does sound like eleven that way. Yeah, then. exactly. Whereas, but the, the obviously the good thing is you can add in commands like spells and abilities as well. So it's not, it's a bit, it's a bit like the Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, we did Final Fantasy Seven remake as well, didn't we? We did. That's more of an action RPG, whereas this is like a, I don't know what I would describe this as. It's not an action game. It's more like I think back in the day it probably would have been classed as one though, but. Mm. But is it not, not like turn? Is it maybe hybrid turn-based action? It, it kind of is, tight, sort of. Because halfway. Mind, there's some games that don't just fit into one category. So yeah, this is very Star Wars. I, I felt. 
this seems it like original or like not original series like the prequel trilogy with all the kind of airships and stuff seems like it's got chocobos and shit as well though yep it seems like it's kind of set in a similar kind of technological period as 13 would have been like advanced technology and shit with ships and stuff coming down yeah so for, aye, so there are like the Final Fantasy games that are set in yielding t- times and then there's the Final Fantasy games that are set in more futuristic times mm. but they still use like swords <laughs> yeah so like well I mean I think like they do for the most part but they sometimes they've got side arms or some of the side yeah well there guns. are there are weapons there are guns in this weapons there are like, obviously a lot of the ships have guns on them stuff but yeah. that's what that's what I'm saying is like why would you choose to use a sword if someone's got a gun Maybe because know. Final Fantasy. Oh shit! It's war. Oh god, that that escalated quickly. It did. They were just leaving after a peaceful. They li- literally just got married and now they're at war. How does this happen? Oh, I don't know. We're about to find out. But isn't this very Star Wars? This is very this is Star, Star Wars. Wars-y. Like what the hell? This is not Final Fantasy. Yeah. Well. So this year's a universe with tactics, which is mostly medieval. Yeah, but they've got like. Spells and guns and stuff as well. There were like uh, riflemen and stuff and tactics. Wasn't tactics like one of the games with like the most classes in it? Yes, it has probably got the highest number of different jobs available to play as, including samurai. It has samurai in it. Yes, I need to get that at some point. That's very good. Uh, well, so the one that was remade into War of the Lions is the is the one I've played. I didn't mm. really enjoy the Game Boy Advance one. I didn't. Play very much of it. Is there any that you can play just now, or are they mobile phone games, or what's the story? War of the Lions was a PSP game, um, and I don't know if they've re released it. Tactics and, and Tactics Advance, I think, uh, were re released on the PlayStation 1 mm. uh, after the. I don't know. You would think that they would have been re released again over and above mobile yeah. versions? Yeah. I, I think. Square Enix is leaning pretty heavily into this. The mobile, you know, they've just redone the first six. Is it the first six games they've done, or first three? Um, the first six. Yeah, uh, first six so far. Yeah. Um, so they, I think they're talking about re-releasing Advance. They should do. They should re-release Tactics because some people don't have like some people don't want to play on their phone. Yeah. Um, and they've released most of the Final Fantasy games they've released on the phone on Steam, for example, or. Sometimes in console. Yes. I think they definitely should. War of the Lions, I would love, love to see re released because I would want to play it. I played it quite a lot on the PSP. It's very difficult. What's your memories of this game, 12? So, 12 is, like, like I say, it was the last one on the PS2, so it was like mind blowing in terms of the graphics at the time. Yeah. Um, 10 had already blown everybody's mind when it first came out in 2001. But this the was first kind of proper full, yeah, full 3D voice acted, Final um, like super like amazing cutscenes. Yeah, um, and 12 was obviously at the end of the PS2's life cycle, so it kind of pushed the boat even more. You it, see, this kind of is the first one that breaks away from turn-based. That's one of the mainline yes, games. Definitely, this one really shook the formula up. Um, I think it took inspiration from 11, the online one for yeah. the combat. And I kind I quite quite like it because I was into eleven, but I I do see why people would not like it because it's so different to the originals. Yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of kind of purists out there, isn't there, that just need things to be turn based. Um, yeah. And I mean, to be honest, I do like my turn based games myself, but I'm open to games that don't have turn based combat in them as well. Like, look at eleven; that was impossible to do turn based in because it's an online game. Yeah. But I find I find this. Listen to my story. Listen to my story. Because they were dead. had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. Dun dun dun. Seems bad things happened. Yeah. Empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Ivalice, it's Ivalice. Rosaria, the West. Ivalice? That's the way I pronounce it. Of the of I thought it was a Valis. Um, well, see, this is the thing with 
Fine to see names, everybody pronounces it differently. I think especially Final Fantasy because of the earlier games. Yeah. No voice acting. Yep. The fall of the fortress at Nalvena. But um, Ivalice first came out for tactics and no, they didn't have voice acting, so mm. this is, was obviously another one of those ones where they pronounced it afterwards. So it was tactics before 12 then? Tactics came out before 12, yeah. Against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Dun, dun, dun. So they were absolutely defeated. Absolutely defeated. Came forward offering terms of peace. Or Don't trust them. Might rather put it, terms of yeah. Surrender. Terms of peace, but <coughs> they'd be taking you apart piece by piece, if you know yeah, what I mean. Indeed, it's a common practice to pretend that you're, or just to offer surrender in a different guise. Mm. We can stop killing, you know, if you want. <laughs> yeah. Or we can keep doing it. That's your choice. The king had scarce departed so, his royal city of Ravanasta. Story wise, I didn't gel with this game as much as some of the previous ones. Mm. I wonder if it's because it was more I don't know. I don't know why it was. Is there a strong main character in it or anything like that? Or? I didn't feel that the main characters were strong. Mm. The best characters are Balthier and uh, Fran. Mm. Um, the Sky Pirates, but the rest of them are all fairly bland. Kind of could just be side characters, basically. Yeah, unfortunately, v Van is the main character. Is pretty forgettable. Getting my van. Getting my van with two A's. And this is Bash, the disgraced warrior. Is this a start in the game now? Looks like it. Yeah. In fact, no, I don't think it is. I don't even remember Rex. Rex. Well, I guess that means he's not going to be in it for very long. <laughs> but you are still home. I guess not. Well, can you stand? He's just the tutorial soldier, maybe. Mm. So, this is the remastered version of a PS2 game, just to remind everyone when they're judging this, because the graphics are a little bit less uh, refined. How old are you, Rex? It doesn't look too bad, but I can see what you mean. Yeah, it definitely looks like a PS2 game. <laughs> they can only remaster it so much. Yeah, I mean, we've seen some PS2 games look really good in remasters. Mm. But this is a little bit less. Yeah, less so, yeah. I mean, the faces look pretty up to date, except maybe his. <laughs> Sorry, Bash. You're shit. <laughs> but he looks fairly modern. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe he's got less. Oh. We must reach the king before they act. Yeah, we must. Shut it, Bash. <laughs> Nobody likes you. I'm aware of the Stop bashing him. Yeah. We, found we may not actually get any gameplay until Bossel, go ahead. episode two. I will wow. this rabble. Oh, maybe you're going to get to play as Bash. Can't remember this. I yeah, don't actually remember is, the game uh, starting. I know I played five minutes of it, but I don't remember this either. Yeah. Well, unless this was added in for the remake, but... Oh, no, you've, you've played this version of the game. Yeah. There is definitely a lot of um, story to this. Mm. So it's not a bland game story-wise. Keep your wits about. Uh, it's not. It's not bland. I'd say it's story-heavy, which mm. is another thing that it shares in common with the prequel trilogy for Star Wars. I think uh. it's very talky. Oh, you get to play as Rex. You must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the right stick to look about. It's useful to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. Yeah. So you're Imperials. Up you're Imperials. up against the Imperial Army in this game. Oh god, they're really giving me some advanced tactics here. Yeah, he's like, can you fucking walk? Is Final Fantasy advanced tactics? It is. Advanced tactics. Advanced warfare tactics. Well, at least you're getting to move a bit. That's true. That's true. Did you see the marker above my head? That's kind of immersion do you, breaking. Yeah, do you hear the music? Does it not sound very Star Wars-y? <laughs> it does. This music's in 14 as well. Is it? Yeah. And the raids for 12. Ah, right, well, that makes sense. Talk to him. I just did. You have to talk to the other guy oh, over there. I thought it was Bash. Like, yeah, the other guy. He's got a smiley face above him. That means he's in a good mood. Nice. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once. We're back in Rabin Esther. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. Okay. <laughs> You're Bash. We'll enter through the fortress, <laughs> through this gate, 
we must go. Why did his voice change in the last two seconds? Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll go through enter the, gate. the fortress through this gate. We must go, go. through the gate. We'll enter the. Oh. <laughs> See the marker above your head. It's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, a switch, an item, or the like. To learn about what we what you found, walk closer and the icon will change, and then press X. Now try opening the gate by pressing X. You pressed X. I did, did it. it. It is time. We will drive back any Imperial standing between us and the King. Dalmasca's future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Rex. I will, I will watch. Rearward. Rearward. <laughs> never heard of that word before in my life yeah it's because it's yielding times that's true back before you were born oh so who's starboard ago. and larboard starboard and larboard yeah all oh, these camera angles man you can open the party menu by pressing triangle <laughs> in real life from the party menu you can examine your equipment and inventory man I'm always opening the party menu Mark that's you me and you in the party then, yeah uh oh, oh imperial soldier here we go press start Marky press uh, start oh in fact don't, don't the press anything the red line is don't press anything don't Target press anything line. Uh, thanks for watching, oh. guys. That's episode one. I'm oh, trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Shut the fuck up, Mark. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. That was episode one. We've pressed X a few times and learned about the war between Rabinaster and Damasca. Damasca or whatever. Join us next time when we might actually play the game. Yay!